In with breaking news out of Ypsilanti this morning. That's where one person is day killed when a car crashed into a fire truck. We want to get right to 7 Action News reporter Shelly Childers. She is live in Ypsilanti with the very latest. Shelly. So the Ypsilanti fire crews tell us that they were on scene for a rollover crash on I-94 late last night. It was a truck similar to this one. They were parked on I-94, blocking one lane, protecting their crews and that crashing. When a second crash happened, they tell us that an SUV crashed into the back of a fire truck that again is similar to this one. That SUV rear-ended into this truck, the entire front end of the SUV crashed, and this is the compartment back here where they store their jaws of life equipment. The fire chief tells us they weren't able to get to it. Here's what he said happened. No trucks, uh, rear bumper is inside the, we had a compartment actually where our, our jaws extrication were. We're not able to open it up to extricate the patient that were pinned in that, in that car. So we called Ipsy Township to uh, come with some uh, jaws of life. So they were able to get that backup support from Ypsilanti Township. They did get that second set of Jaws of Life equipment. They got three people out of the SUV that had crashed into the back of their fire truck. We learned one woman did die on scene, two others taken to the hospital, one in stable condition, another in critical condition. We also learned that the original passenger in the rollover crash that they were on 94 four in the first place did have minor injuries and that person is expected to be okay. I also spoke with the chief about their strategic positioning, how they put their emergency vehicles on busy streets and highways like I-94 to protect their crash sites. He'll talk to us about that coming up at 630. Reporting live from Ypsilanti, Shelly Childers, 7 Action News. Shelly, thank you for that live